Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Ann Negus, the modern day shaman. Um, I help you discover and master your unseen potential. And I'm on today to talk to you about success consciousness and why having a spiritual framework connects you to your highest vibration and allows you to manifest your big and bigger dreams for your life and for your business. Now, I'm hearing this little caveat at the beginning where Facebook doesn't really know I'm live. So I'm just going to use that time to go in and share a couple of things so that this, this video goes on my group. So if you are watching this as a replay or hopping in with me live, then do bear with me just a moment while I share this to a couple of groups. She says, not being the, 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 the best technical person there is in the world. So I'm going to stick that on my group, Evolve and Thrive, so that my people, all 1800 of them, can get to see this too. Because I've got lots of juicy content to share with you today about this idea of a spiritual framework around your business as well as your life. Let's do one more here. And I've got something really very interesting to talk to you about. Right, ta -da! that is me all shared and I'm back with you. So if you're here, tell me that you're here because I love talking to people. I don't like talking to the little eye thingy at the top. Um, I'd love to know where you're based. I'm in the UK, I'm in London, I'm in Surrey, in a place called Bletching Lee, which is not far from Gatwick. If you've ever flown in, if you're watching from abroad and you've ever flown in, you will know that, know that kind of just south of London is where I am. So today we're talking about success consciousness and I, it's, it's something that I've been thinking about for a little while because I want to elaborate on it um, and for me it sinks leans really deeply into having a spiritual framework around not just your life but about around your business now a spiritual framework that can be a bit kind of um, woo talk or I'm coming in on a level that that many people sometimes don't understand and if that's the case if you don't get what I'm talking about stick something in the comments and let me let me explain it to you spiritual framework means that you are connecting with a bigger picture a bigger idea of you you're not only your human you're not only your emotions you're not only the situations you find yourself in you you have a consciousness that goes far beyond anything you can imagine and this is your spirituality and having a spiritual framework in your life allows you to connect with it which may give you a clue as to why it helps you manifest your big and your bigger dreams for your life and your business so spiritual growth mm. that old sound bite I think it's the most important thing there is in evolution of you. Now, I'm not going to say expand, expanding your energy, because um, I have a great friend who tells me off whenever I say that, because she says that when she uses the word expand, she just gets bigger with her physical body. She puts on weight. So I'm going to use the word evolution. So when you want to evolve your um, frequency, your energy, to um, the next vibration you can you can achieve and to keep in that place of oh, oh joy so that when you're living your life it feels that it's light it feels that it's easy and it feels that it's fun um, is so important for me as I said it is the number one thing on the top of my pyramid of needs if I don't feel that I am exploring my own spirituality, I feel a bit dead, I feel a bit flat. So 
I've been thinking how I can communicate that to you guys. Now, I know that if you know me and you're here following me, you will understand why spirituality and spiritual evolution is important because we're here to grow the greater consciousness. Yeah, we're not, we are here for our own unique experience, but this physical body is only an illusion of separation. We are here to expand the greater consciousness for the greater good of everything. We're here to translate distorted qualities, distorted vibrations of love back into that unconditional high vibration, that, uh, that love of all things. That's what we're here to do. If We strip everything else back. Now, I've been asking what success means to people. I've been out doing some research and success comes on different levels to many different people. There's financial success. There is feeling happy. There is success in relationships. Um, uh, there is, I don't know, uh, success in overcoming difficulties. There is a feeling of peace or contentment for some people and that for them is success. So I'd like to just step in here and, and polarise a little bit just what success means for me and it may trigger you. So success means for me being as financially affluent as I can possibly be. Money is everything because without it, there is no expansion. Money triggers me big time. It pushes me to the edge of my boundaries. The, the idea that I have to ex evolve, that I have to find a vibration that is able to create and to receive at the same time really does get me excited. And although I enjoy the material things that come through being able to call money into me. Um, it isn't the driving force. The driving force is that creativity. It's the, it's the receiving. And as we receive and give out again to you guys, to anyone else that's listening, um, the abundance flows. Money is universal flow. It's universal love. And that is all tied up with success. So when I was doing my research, someone, quite a lot of people actually said that success for, for them was feeling peaceful and contented. Well, I wonder if you can feel peaceful and contented when you are wanting to have a big impact on the world and you're finding that you're coming up against yourself. I wonder if you can feel peaceful and contented when, and I'm talking about entrepreneurs here specifically, I wonder if you can feel peaceful and contented if you are wanting to touch the lives of other people and make, offer your services and feel good about it so that you can see the benefits that you're spreading around. Now, if you are doing that from a place of, uh, not fully valuing your gifts, your benefits, even your just absolute right of being, that for me is not success. That for me is living in lack. So that may challenge a few different people, but that is where I'm coming from. And I've been doing this work since my own 30s. I've been doing this for 20 years. And I have been, since 2004, working um, with, shamanic energy fully in in terms of healing working with psychology and working particularly with shadow to open my clients up to their level of the, the highest vibration that they can achieve to their gifts to their knowing of themselves to their ability to be now spiritual growth is a must because if you want success consciousness you have to have an understanding that you are part of a bigger picture, that you, whatever it is that you do, has an impact on this grand consciousness that we're all part of. Um, it also allows you to look at the things that have happened to you in your life and see the spiritual resonance of them. Now, we have all had challenges. My life 
has been a, a life lived full of different things that have come towards me, full of, uh, oh gosh, near-death experiences, car crashes, relationships, all sorts of things. I have had a myriad of experience in my 50, nearly 51 years. God, 51, can't believe it. Um, but being able to look at them and see the spiritual reason, the spiritual lesson in them has helped me immensely in processing the emotion. So every time that you come up and you're triggered with something, this is an opportunity for spiritual growth. This is an opportunity for you to process a little bit more emotion around a situation. Now, your business, if you're an entrepreneur and likely that you are if you're watching me, your business is an expression of your spiritual consciousness. It's true. And it facilitates your spiritual growth because it comes through you. It is of you. Very much like if you are watching and you're a mother, you will know that your child comes through you, is of you, but is not yours. And your child will challenge you massively, massively all the way through his or her life to be more, to be a better person. Yeah. So I really like the idea of imagining or visioning your business as something that you have given birth to is a child of, that, that is facilitating your growth. And as you grow spiritually, so does your the child of your business. Yeah. Um, the important thing to think about with success consciousness, you know, is that there's no rush either we can get really impatient and you know when we hit with a creative with that, with that little creative fire and we've got to go and rush and do something now that's really exciting go do it but if the next day you fall flat on it there is a, an um, opportunity for you to grow a little bit. The falling flat means that you've come off of the rush of creativity and there is some self-sabotage going on. There's some pro procrastination. There is something that is telling you you can't. And there's an opportunity for a reframe. Um, explore your resistance. Yes, decide that you're going to overcome it. And, and that's important that you train your brain to believe that you can overcome anything that you come up against inside yourself. Really important in success consciousness that you retrain your brain in that way. So the next day after a rush of creativity and excitement in your, in your, that's come through for your business, your little child that is growing, yeah? Or even a teenager that may be flexing its muscles and getting a bit big for you and you're having to really expand your own understanding of yourself so that you can hold it. Um, I know teenagers really well and uh, they definitely, definitely challenge the adults around them to hold space for them, to watch them as they flex their own muscles and to rise above their ability to distort every single bloody situation into some sort of drama. Now, I'd invite you guys to do the same thing with yourself around your business. So if it is that you know you've got something juicy that is going to impact the world in a big level. Now, if your if your juicy business, if your your embryo of creativity is something that is gonna make a massive difference. Trust me, you will be thinking about how much money is going to come through you so that you can expand that impact even more, so that you can evolve as a person and so that you can touch the lives of all of the people that you came to help. And that's important. As an entrepreneur in the spiritual industry, as a coach, um, as a healer, as an energy worker, you have come to serve. It's a decision that you made. And you must do that in a place of abundance. That place of abundance comes from surely knowing your worth. And if it is difficult for you to sit with yourself and be 
know your value in being, then there is work to do. There is definitely uh, childhood things to look at in your past. There are uh, learned beliefs. There are many resistances around speaking up, uh, showing your truth, being seen. And what I've done today um, for the next intake, if you like, is I've put together um, some different offerings and I'm going to be sharing with them with you guys going forwards. They're very exciting. Um, they're still quite high touch because uh, the benefits that come from deep work with me are huge. The shamanic journeying, the shamanic energy that I bring through, my the ability I have to see your past, to see your future and bring the two things closer together um, is second to none. And I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna toot my own horn here. I'm really good at what I do. So success consciousness, own it. Are you really good at what you do? Or do you have doubts about it? To step into success consciousness, you have to really seriously be able to toot your own horn loudly. To be seen, to allow the trolls to come if they're gonna come, and to use them for your own benefit. So if, if you're attracting naysayers, and I have done that in the past, they're coming to mirror something that you believe inside yourself. In fact, every single thing in your whole life is a mirror of what is going on inside yourself. And if you can't work out what it is, why it is that you have these things happening around you, there is stuff to look at, to explore inside you. So, that is why having a spiritual framework is so important for your business, let alone your life. And when you can understand that your existence is divine and that you are part of this wonderful grand consciousness that we are all evolving together and that there are spiritual reasons for every single challenge your business is your spiritual child. It is of you, you've created it, it comes through you. And for it to grow, you need to grow too. And that means looking at how big you can dream about your life. Now I know from my own personal experience that I get a bit complacent, I get a bit comfortable. Oh gosh, huh, this time last year, I never imagined I'd be in this place. Well, I'm just gonna sit on my laurels. Well, the thing that happens to me is that when I do sit on my laurels, everything tends to close down and stop because my business, my life, my success consciousness flows through me. And it has to absolutely do that on a vibrational lift every single time, every single time, every single time. Um, so. Whenever I've achieved what it is that I think I can achieve, when I thought of it, I don't know, months ago, and I get to that place because I'm very good at manifesting, I do believe in myself, I work on my energy consistently, and I show up in my business with an idea that I'm really good at it. So whenever I get to where I'm going, I have to reevaluate. And I have to dig deep, and I have to go inside myself and think, okay, well, what's the bigger impact? How can I be more? Who do I need to be in order to show up in the way that is going to affect and touch the lives of those that I came to help? I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're from. I don't know how you'll find, you'll find me. I just know that I came here with a message. Um, and stripping that message down, it is about connecting with your spirituality with who you really are, what you came to be, what you came to give, and how you will be evolving yourself and everyone and everything around you. I'm gonna leave you with one little thought here. Your, and, and that's exactly it, your thoughts matter. 
Success consciousness needs you to retrain your brain completely to a level of I'm brilliant, I'm divine, I'm, va I'm of value in just being, in breathing. And I can absolutely achieve every single thing I bloody well want to. So guys, have a think. What are you saying to yourself? What are your thoughts around success consciousness? Now, I've kind of come on here really impromptu and just given you everything I can think of there. <laughs> so if you haven't watched me from the beginning, do go back and watch from the, uh, the start because this has been a really juicy live stream. I channeled it through Melchizedek today about spiritual consciousness. It's the first time I'm using this hashtag and this phrase and it's because I have achieved a certain level of, of complacency here in my life and and Melchizedek who is a wonderful ascended master who likes to come and give me a bit of a boot every now and again came through today and did that um, so what do you think about it guys have I got you thinking are you interested in finding out a little bit more I hope so do come and comment um, I haven't been able to see your comments today so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off the live and then I'm going to come and answer everybody if you do have if you have said hello I love it when you say hello so please if you find this interesting go share it the more messages that more time more we can get this out there the better okay guys I will be back later in the week with some more juicy stuff all related to success consciousness thanks for watching me I really appreciate it see you soon bye